Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful Sunday. So, um, actually, before I start, I want to go over this fact. <laughs> they say that God created uh, the universe and everything in six days and took the seventh day off, but uh, we haven't created shit yet. So, if you're not on Sunday, if you're not putting in a bit, at least two hours, just grinding, putting out content, uh, sending in that Calendly link, following up with the prospect, uh, you know, making making a story and just reminding your audience that you exist. Well, you're going to have a hard time beating uh, your competitors, right? Because on Sunday, they're on the beach, they're on a boat somewhere, they're watching TV, they're reading a book, right? They're trying to be, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm joking. But yeah, just put in a one hour a day. So one hour on a Sunday consecutively done for six months, you're golden. You're going to be way ahead than uh, than anyone in your league. But um so in this video, what I want to actually go through is why why do people actually come to us and have us build their client acquisition process, right? And where did I get these insights? Because nowadays it's so it's so easy to just uh, buy access uh, into a course and just regurgitate someone else's content, right? Which happens a lot. I even have a guy who's currently selling <laughs> the virtual assistant training that I had when I was running the appointment setting agency, like when I created it like uh, six months ago and he's selling it for a hundred bucks, right? I think that's great. He's doing me a favor. He's just getting people to be aware of me. Uh, but like, I don't think he's actually doing a favor to people because um, one thing that I've realized with like, at least now that I'm starting to understand this like business game is that the difference between you making zero bucks with your agency to 10K to 20K to 50K to 100K um, or maybe you're already making 20 grand and you want to get to 100 grand. The key thing is not new information. The key thing is just how committed are you to that, to making it, right? Today, I'm currently making this piece of content, but I want to watch a movie. I want to go, I would rather be watching Black Widow. That's a crazy movie. I like it. I'll probably go watch, see it this evening, but like I could be doing 100 other things, right? But I've, I'm committed to, to running a business and actually succeeding. So if I get an idea to create a piece of content, I'm going to do it. I don't care if it's Sunday. I don't care if it's Thursday, 5 p.m., 10 p.m. I'm getting to work, right? And the way you get committed to your goals is by not buying into $100 courses. Like where would that, like that's not a commitment, right? Of course, if you don't have money, perfect. And maybe a hundred bucks for you is a lot of money. So amazing, right? But you know, four weeks back, I spent, I think, 10 grand in a, in a program where I literally didn't learn anything new, right? But I still didn't regret spending five figures in myself because I'm worth five figures. I'm worth, am I not worth 10 grand, right? So a lot of people are scared to invest in themselves because they, they're afraid of not making it work, not getting a return from their investment. But that's the wrong way to see it. Me spending 10 grand to get access to, to a course that I, I, yeah, I learned something, but nothing worth 10K, right? But what the reason why I didn't regret the, the, the investment is because it just says, hey, Serge, you're putting 10 grand to achieving your goals, right? So when it's Sunday, while other people are just, you know, smoking weed, drinking, whatever, I'm out here putting out content because... I've already invested so much that it would just be stupid for me to, you know, go back, right? So it's just a com consistent commitment, right? Last year, quit my job, my nine to five. That was the beginning of this commitment, right? I had spent eight months mixing my nine to five with starting this business. I went eight months without a single customer, right? I quit my job 10 months later. I'm running a multiple six-figure business. It's crazy, right? So all that this has nothing to do with with like the outreach system. I just want to say that you want to succeed, double down, go all in, invest everything you have in yourself. Because once you do that, oh my God, like you just become so much more confident. You just increase your belief in yourself. Because the reason why people don't believe in themselves is because they've never better on themselves. They're always just taking one step, one foot in, one foot out. And that's why for the 50K a month program, it's not a cheap program. Because I actually don't even want people who aren't committed to join the program. So I could be selling it for 500 bucks. I literally could. But I don't want people, I don't want the type of customers that invest 500 bucks. Because 
that's not a commitment. That's not high enough to actually make sure that you do implement everything that we show you. Okay, so that's it. But now let's get into the outreach workflow. So before I go uh, over this stuff, let me show you like where I actually got it from, right? Because this came from doing a lot of a lot of outreach, guys. Like this is not something that I just like I said went in a course and learned. This is this is a complete whole new game, right? So these are all. Although this is specific, like I'm going to be showcasing a lot of e-commerce agency case studies, but this has worked for agencies in the dentist niche, real estate, loan officer, coaching space, fitness coaching, like literally any space, this workflow works, right? So look at how many DMs we, we were sending we, and we're, our customers are still standing every single day using $3 an hour virtual assistance, we're literally going ahead and blanketing the whole market, right? You know, we've done this consistently, right? So if you go on the Instagram tab on each foundational copywriting spreadsheet, you'll see so many numbers. Like, look at this. This is the 1400 brand that we message and we're only like maybe like 30% through this doc, right? So we've done this for so many clients, everyone, right? Every every single one right so and this is how i actually came to believe that this thing actually works and that's why people are you know clients of mine who you who we use the same strategy for them on the done for you uh when i was running the done for you work are now creating coaching offers and teaching ag other agencies on how to win right and george is one of my old client is now running a coaching uh, like his coaching agencies on some of this stuff uh, if you if you know you know i don't want to go too much in depth but um like this actually works guys right we've done so many numbers that uh i'm now confident when i say someone hey do this implement this go 30 days 60 days doing this and i promise you it will work that it actually ends up working right so look at this like for for example this case study by uh, by george right he signed up um uh, with us in january signed he sent his first loom booked an appointment following our structure okay fourth loom booked an appointment 20th loom booked an appointment booked an appointment booked an appointment booked an appointment right find me any place where there is, you know, this kind of predictability, right? Booked an appointment, booked an appointment, booked an appointment, booked an appointment. This client is making 170K a month, um, but they're still doing using our workflow, right? Because it actually works, right? And uh, find me any other place where in e -com, where they're sending these many um, DMs and getting these many appointments, probably nowhere, right? But we've done this with all kinds of uh, niches. This is not just um, e-com, like I've said. And this is how I can stand behind my marketing because I have the data to to support, to back all the claims that I'm making. I'm not just out here like regurgitating other people's information. No, I actually run an appointment setting agency, did it, done, did the work, 25 clients every single month for like seven months straight, okay? And... Uh, and yeah, that's how this thing came about, right? And if you look at here, this customer is on the 50K a month program. His, his name is Richard. Uh, his, his name is Rich because he's really rich. <laughs> but uh, he signed up uh, a few weeks ago. He sent his first looms uh, on Monday, July 5th. And uh, he booked his first meeting, right? And on Wednesday, he sends me the screenshot at 9 a.m. This is the type of stuff that I, lo I love waking up to. He sent me a screenshot of, hey, Another meeting booked, but they got blocked on Instagram. It's normal when you do the work. You, you, we, but we have workflows on avoiding getting blocked, right? We have different step by step. It used to happen to us a lot, but he's making 25k uh, a month already, and it's only uh, we're only on the 11th, right? And a few hours later, he sent me another screenshot of him booking another call, right? Because this stuff actually works, right? If you're in e-com and we're not working together, I don't know like what else to tell you. It's like, should I pay you to, for you to come work with us? Like maybe I could give you a bit of money, okay, just to incentivize you. But you know now he's he's interested in sending me a referrals because it actually works, right? So all this to say that um, I've I've done the work. And it's from the work that I've created all this stuff. It's not all 
I'm, I'm a marketer, 100%, right? But I'm a marketer who actually sells stuff that works. I'm not just someone who's here making money off of uh, selling information that doesn't work, okay? But let me actually walk you guys through the workflow because that this can really be beneficial. So one thing that we help our clients do when they start out is pick a perfect offer. If you don't have a perfect offer, it's going to be hard, right? And some of the offers, of course, this is these are the mechanism. It's not an actual offer, but some of the clients that we've worked with, um, Facebook ad is getting a bit tricky, like being able to really sell it. So we get clients to actually position and get close to selling CRO, email marketing, SEO, creative stuff, TikTok, ads, right? Because from when you send these many DMs every single day, you get a lot of feedback from the market. So what I've done is I've actually just analyzed all the responses we were getting from the market. And I'm now able to tell clients, hey, I think that if you pick this offer, you would have a much easier time to win. Okay. So that's why people also, you know, uh, because I have a lot of data. So I have a lot of like, I've seen a lot of people say no, no, no. And others say yes, yes, yes. So I try to push my clients towards the easy path okay so once we help you create the pick best offer we help you pick a sub niche we want you to go narrow we don't want you to be um we don't want you to be competing with advertising companies making 100 million a year or maybe even the same agencies in your facebook group who bought into the same course with the same information because that doesn't give you any edge but once you actually go in and when you follow our process to narrow your target, then you're golden because you get so much higher response rate. You get a lot more meetings. You get your messages resonate a lot more, right? And Peter Thiel, the, the guy who created the PayPal Mafia team, uh, in his book from zero called Zero to One, he actually says, if you're starting out and you're going broad, you'll fail. The key is go narrow, pick a market that you can dominate. And that's what we help people do, right? Ecom is so big that you need to literally narrow and just be really specific to who you're selling to because trust me, you'll end up having a way easier time to sell at scale. And if you're making less than a hundred grand a month and you're 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 not narrowing down, you're crazy because a hundred grand or less a month is still you're still a fish, you're still a tiny little fish in the business world. you you can't change anything. You might change your your life, you might get a cool car, you might get a good penthouse, but in the grand scheme of things, like it's nothing, a hundred grand a month, right? Uh, I won't go too much in depth into how we use these channels, but we use Google search a lot and Instagram to really give us a whole lot of leads. And then we take all the leads we get to Instagram. We you only we we only use Instagram a lot. Of course, now we're building out SOPs for personalized emails, but that will that's that's second, right? That's just to add on top of this workflow. But this is the main uh, source. We go on Instagram. They don't answer. We follow up three times. If they're not interested, it's okay. We'll let them be. Uh, we use suggestions a lot. Um, but one thing that we do is we actually get brands to give us their emails. We never pitch anyone who doesn't give us their emails. While we could literally go and snub that IO and just scrape everybody's emails. But the reason we try to not send cold uh is we don't send anything cold actually everything is warm warm looms warm emails everything because we want the prospect to have taken steps towards you we want them to do micro commitments because a lot of the issue within this space is that uh, i'm checking loom so that it doesn't crash it keeps crushing it's really uh, annoying but the, uh, a lot of the issue that i see with people in this uh not even e-com but literally the agency space is that they send cold looms but it's, it requires so much energy for someone to watch a 10-minute video that you're just wasting your time, okay? It's Our strategy is only warm leads. If they haven't said yes, you're a loom, don't ever send it unless you can afford to, okay? Um, but if they if we had followed up three times and they, and they responded, then, um, you know, they'll end up becoming a warm lead. Um, if they provide a general email, you can scrape using snob.io. We have a workflow around that. And, uh, you know, we, you, we show you to actually make personalized Loom videos for brands, uh, or any niche you're following. Really, we have a step, like a seven step value video structure for our Looms and a books around 
25 to 40 percent of every loom you send out will actually convert into a call like i've shown you these case studies like you know loomy digital never sent a loom booked a call off of his first um, thing right this client they're making you know like i said almost close to multiple six figures a month they went like like 20 looms with actually not 20 looms they sent these first looms and they didn't convert while i looked at once i looked at what they were sending i looked at like guys you're not following the seven step structure and i gave them the guidance to fixing it and guess what started booking appointments consistently right so we've just sent i think all my clients overall they've probably sent over a thousand looms in the past four months so i have literally a list of like maybe 1500 looms that didn't work and maybe over like 200 looms that actually work. So for my clients, what we do is we actually give them access to both so they can learn what to do and what not to do. Okay. So that's really amazing. And uh, if they don't book a call, well, we send them into what I call the quasi periodic sequence. Okay. It's a eight to 10 email sequence that lasts eight to 12 weeks. Right. The reason why I call it quasi periodic is because uh, I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but Chinese used to torture like, um, like I don't remember. I mean, I don't. I'm not a historian, guys. But they used to use this Chinese water torture, right? The, where they would drop uh, like water on your, let's say, on your head for a really long time, like really long period of time, right? And that would literally drive people insane. Not because the water is actually like that crazy, but because when you don't know when the next drop will come because droplets like the, the the actual drop are irregular they're not they don't drop like every two seconds right one drop might drop like one drop of water might drop like two seconds from now another might drop six seconds from now another 10 seconds from now and it's the actual irregular irregularity of the drops that drove people insane right so when i was creating these uh, sequences for my clients i was like we don't want to be like the typical outreach or outbound prospector where you're sending every single every two days you're sending a drop of email right no way we want to do it like one day and then maybe six days and then maybe 10 days and then maybe 20 days right because you want to make sure that the prospect is like you want them to forget about you but not forget about you and then you want to blast them a bit consistently for a week but anyway i don't want to go too much in depth but we have a quasi periodic sequence that lasts uh, over almost 12 weeks because you want to make sure that they don't forget about you because that's really where the the game is at okay and then you know we get uh, people on a sales call through our looms uh, in these cause in this email sequence there are actually a few pieces of content so we actually um, show our clients how to build content and actually put it in your sequence so that the prospect actually gets really warm before they hop on a call with you or it may just makes them not ignore you, okay? And our average closing rate of these uh, meetings are actually 45% to 85%. I have clients who have closed 100% every meeting. Like it's literally their first call with an e-com brand ever, and they close it. Of course, it's not just this, um, it's not just this workflow that helps us increase the closing rate. It's also the, the fact that they have really good offer clients, okay? So we help them, like I said, from all the data we have, we help them pick things that are makes it easier for them to win, okay? And um, in 60 days or less, you're easily able to add 5K in MRR if you do this thing consistently, okay? I can guarantee you, all right? But there's also the fact that, um, like I've said, we have a lot of leads here, right? It's a lot of leads. So what happens with all the leads that don't get back to you? Well, or don't give you an email. Well, what we do is we pick 25% of all the leads con con contacted. Uh, we get you to pick a few uh, a bracket of followers and you actually use Snowvio or your VA will actually, because all this is imp implemented by a virtual assistant, guys. The only thing our customers do is just the looms. Everything is done by $3 an hour VA. And that's where, like guys, if you're not using a virtual assistant, please get one, okay? Or join the program and we'll help you get a VA, okay? Uh, uh, so all this is done. Then the VA would actually go ahead and scrape the decision makers and then you launch them in our full email sequence. It's an evergreen value uh, or personalized video um, with a call to action to a meeting. Uh, and then some people will say, hey man, like stop sending me emails and that's totally okay. Perfect. 
But what we do is we get feedback from them, okay? Every single time. Every time we get a prospect to say no, we ask them, why not? Okay? What other service are you currently looking for? What would have made this a no-brainer for you? Because we want to get that data and that feedback to bring it back to learning what are the perfect offers from the market, okay? And that's how, you know, that's how we've been able to do it. So um, this is just a small workflow, but it's actually way more in depth. So like we have this longer step-by-step -step thing and um, we actually have a, an action plan, right? In the program, okay? So um, if you look at here, this is the, the action plan. Uh, but exactly, this is the, the stuff that we do. So yeah, if you're ever interested in uh, having us help you with your outreach, not just the outreach, but you know, building an audience, right? Because this is just the infrastructure, but on top of it, we actually help you buy access into audiences, okay? So instead of just using the outreach to try to book meetings, how about you buy access to 3,000 e-commerce store owners or maybe 3,000 real estate agents, right? And then we help you create a crazy offer and you get to scale to 50 grand a month. But um, that's pretty much it. If you're interested in joining the program, it's launching on July 12th, so tomorrow, Monday. Um, I'd be happy to get on a call with you and uh, see if we can help you scale. But um, I believe we can, so hopefully you do too. So yeah, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.